I don't get it. They hate no Millie Bobby Brown. What are they doing? Why they hate? What's with the hate? There's no hating on this channel. You can't hate. I don't understand. I just watched the number one Netflix movie, Damsel. I actually watched it a couple days ago. Actually, I watched it maybe the day after it came out. Hey, it was new. It was interesting. It had dragons. I'm ready to watch it if it has dragons. And uh, if you are familiar with this channel, I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. But you may notice that we have reviewed Millie Bobby Brown before, and she always gives a 10 out of 10 performance in whatever she's doing. All right, she's okay. That's not the main point of this. The main point of this review was actually pointed out to me by a different YouTuber. His name is Disparu, and you may see him from occasionally on After Hours with the Critical Drinker. He's, he's got a good channel. You should check it out. I'll link it above. I might link his video, too. So what he pointed out was reviewers hated the movie, and he was going off of the reviews and judging the movie before he'd seen it. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird because I already saw this and these people have lost their plum minds. I, I don't understand. There's, there's something wrong. There's some kind of disconnect here. So there's going to be mild spoilers. Well, there's going to be a lot of spoilers because there's not a whole ton of a plot here. But I'm going to show you some things, and they don't add up, and maybe together we can piece it together. In the meantime, please like, subscribe. We really could use your help. We're creeping up higher and higher every day. You can also join us for as little as a dollar a day. Not a day. A dollar a week. Not a week. A dollar a month. You can feed a starving noob noob, my co-host, who is not here because he is starving. So anyway, let's take a look here. And um, I'll, first, I'll give you the Rotten Tomatoes just to give you a clear paradigm shift or uh, a comparison. Let's, we'll call that the root note before we start getting to other things. So let's look at, well, first, uh, okay, let's go to Rotten Tomatoes first. Sorry. And look, Rotten Tomatoes, just an aggregator, just to see where people stand. That's all we look at it for. So long story short. Because it took about 29 minutes for the movie to really kind of get going. The setup is... And, and there was some setup that I thought would pay off somewhere. Because in the beginning, I'm like, this is advertised. It's like, she's girl boss. She's going to take on a dragon. Flexing her big old girl boss muscles, right? So what happens is Millie Bobby Brown's kingdom is not doing so well. And her dad's the king. And her dad's like, hey, I've made an arrangement. This should satisfy both our houses. You get married. We get money. We'll be good. So it's a little weird. He's selling off his daughter. She's chopping wood in the beginning. I'm like, oh, she's powerful. That does not come into this whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe a little bit just to show that she's got a little bit of upper arm strength, I guess. Is that what they're showing? That she's not like the softest princess in the world? But that doesn't really come into play at any point. But the, it's it's also to keep in mind, it's rated PG-13. It's not necessarily for kids. They're looking at that Millie Bobby Brown audience. I think she's like 21 or 22. She's got a strong command in the tween audience and what have you. And she's you know famous from such things as Stranger Things. She's fine actress. She's amusing to me. It's a little, it's, it's an hour and 47 minutes. So it's not like a long movie per se. It takes 29 minutes for it to really get cooking. But... And then the show, the 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 uh, tone shifts quite dramatically. It's very intriguing. Um, critics have it at fifty seven percent, seventy one percent on the audience side, which is what I would rate it. I was gonna give it somewhere. It's a fine movie. If you like Millie Bobby Brown, you're gonna like it. It's fine, and it's not like really woke necessarily. She does a couple things. There's like. The trailer makes it look like she's more of a girl boss than she actually is. And like I said, there's going to be spoilers. So I'm going to tell you what happens in this movie. Again, shocker what happens. You're going to be so surprised that Millie Bobby Brown, again, spoilers, survives the dragon. It doesn't kill her. Now, the ending might be a surprise to you, but... So what happens is she gets, she's going to get married. They put her in this crazy dress... And then she like gets married. But then they're like, well, we've got another thing we got to do first. 
So they take her up to this weird um, eyes wide shut reference, which everyone's wearing masks. And you're thinking, oh, this is going a little more kinky than I thought it was going to. And then it takes a turn. She pick, you know, he pay, sweeps her off of her feet. She's looking all dolled up like a real princess and uh, throws that princess down the well. <laughs> In fact, they throw coins in the well. It's real weird. So they throw her in the well. Well, guess who lives in the well? Long ago, the king of this kingdom made a deal with a dragon, and the only way they could satisfy the dragon was feeding it three princesses a year, I guess. It's not that important. All you need to know is they fed Millie Bobby Brown to the dragon. And then the movie becomes like survival meets the descent meets like (laughs) survivor, like... Like, torture prawns. Like, it gets real weird. She gets pretty badly injured several times. Lucky for her, she finds some glowworms that heal her. And then comes the duel with the dragon. And that's where things get a little interesting. In the trailer, it looks a little girl bossy. And uh, she's going to MacGyver things. She's going to set things up. Basically, she spends a half hour running from the dragon, almost dying, and basically figures out, like, the dragon's going to kill her. Like, she doesn't know what to do. And essentially, her father changes his mind, finds out that she's to be sacrificed to the dragon, comes to save her, and then she um, has to save... Then they decide to sacrifice her sister, because she has a sister, which I may have failed to mention. And um, they chuck the sister down the well, and then she's got to save her sister because she she gets out because you're basically not because of anything that she does, because her dad and her his crew sacrificed themselves so that she can get out. So then she goes back to save her sister, and you're like, oh yeah, it's girl boss time. She go, she like grabs her dad's sword and sticks it on her back like she's some sort of pimp super powered chick with the sword, and uh, it is a little gory for kids. There's there's some brutality in this. Uh, there's some like pretty, a couple gruesome deaths. It's 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 definitely a hard PG-13. Could have went R, didn't quite go there. Um, and then you get, uh, she she does like a couple interesting things. She doesn't do anything like, it's crazy, right? She MacGyver's up some stuff to distract the dragon. Her goal is just to like get her sister out. It's not to do anything to the dragon. And basically, she tricks the dragon into maiming itself. And then she talks the dragon into helping her. That's the story. She doesn't overpower it. There is a point. I mean, she essentially uses the thing's like own violence against it. So she doesn't do like she doesn't like leap. I th- I would have sworn to you, we were gonna see her leaping out of a out of a cave into the dragon's head and riding it and beating it and stab like. None of that really happened. She uses her guile and her intelligence to defeat the dragon. And she doesn't even defeat the dragon. She convinces it to work with her. And then you can guess how the rest goes. So, very interesting. The critics clearly hate this movie. And I'm going to illustrate why. Maybe. I'm not sure. There seems to be a conspiracy afoot, friends. Let's take a look at Empire. Empire says, uh, yeah, agrees to marry. They gave it two stars. And um, they're saying she subverts the damsel in distress trope. Not really, because like she's just being ingenuitive and doesn't do anything particularly special other than like decides that she can convince the dragon that it's it's wrong. Like the dragon can talk. And the drag it's like smog. And I actually thought the dragon was kind of cool. The special effects at, in the beginning are a little weird because all of the uh, castles and stuff are all CGI. But once you get into the cave, it all looks pretty good to me. I don't know. And they go, the delivery, those accents prove as lifeless as the dragon's victims. The first half hour uh, for the twist sp- uh, seem- feels drawn out. I agree with that. Um... You know, but I thought the way that they did it, it looked really cool, and the the dra- like the voice acting was fine. The acting was fine. <laughs> I mean, it was a little weird, but it was her. You know, it, it's fine. Um, but Angela Bassett plays her mom, stepmom. Robin Wright is in this. She's fine as a, but they're in it so little. They're like their delivery and those accents are so terrible. 
45 minutes of the movie is her by herself alone in a cave trying to escape from a monster. That they're just they're not in it that much. So they're saying too childish and shallow for adults, yet too brutal and gory for kids. This one damsel that does not need saving after all. I disagree. I thought it was fine. It's like a C plus maybe. In fact, the more these people hate it, the more I think I like the movie. Here's the one that's gonna take the cake. You're gonna lose your minds over this, friends. It's kind of unbelievable. IGN. IGN. <laughs> You're, I swear, this, I, I'm not making this up. And thank you, Disparu, for showing me this. IGN, which I would never look at a review for reviews for, other than to be wrong. <laughs> um, they straight up gave it a three. Just to, let's start with a three. It's a plotting fantasy fantasy film that fails short of its magical aims. But why are they mad? It's a weak script, a boring performance, make a Netflix fantasy film, Danzel, a real slog, torpedoing, torpedoing its attempt at being subversive spin on classic adventure tales. Any sense of wonder or magic is diluted by a cheap-looking CGI, which I don't agree with. I thought the, dra the dragon looked fine. And overly repetitive action sequences? There's, like, one montage in it. Uh, like, there's not really a lot of repetitive anything. The damsel might save herself, but who'll save the audience? I think people are mad because she doesn't girl boss it. I think they're mad because they she doesn't like beat the dragon to death. She uses her like I said she uses her guile, her intellect and uses her I want to you know I, the end was a little... There was like one part where she's like... She puts the sword on her back and that's in the trailer. And I thought if they would have cut that out, it wouldn't have been that girl bossy. Um, it's a feminist reworking of many tales of chivalry. Except she's not feminist enough. She's not powerful enough. She uses the wrong skill set. She doesn't like chop the dragon's head off with her mighty cle her cleaver. You know, like she doesn't do it all herself. She uses her mind. And they don't like that. And I want to point... Th I, you have to see this to believe this. This is the same people who gave the Marvels an eight. Literally an incoherent mess that the director said verbatim, I, there were scenes I didn't even know what I was directing. Great. It's great. Brie Larson reprises her role as Carol Danvers alongside Amon Vellani, who stars as Miss Marvel, and Tiona Paris, who portrays grown-up Monica Rambeau. That's all they have to say about it. There's three people in it, and you know they know their names. Congrat that's your summary, huh? It goes really does go higher, further, faster, baby. You're an embarrassment to reviews. You're an embarrassment to yourself, Amelia Emberwig. You're an embarrassment to everything. Did you review this one too? Who 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 wrote it? Who wrote this review? If it's Ember, it, no, it's a different woman. A different woman, not not girl bossing hard enough. I also want to point out She-Hulk, the absolute disgrace of Disney Plus, an embarrassingly written show about um, an attorney that does never goes to trial and never does any cases because they didn't know how to write a procedural. They said that, not me. They said that. Um. Great. It's great. She-Hulk, attorney at law, is here to remind you that the more superhero shows should be in sitcom format. Amelia Emberwick, another incredibly embarrassing review. What is going on here? You're just not happy because she's not, because Millie Bobby Brown isn't like super buff. The only thing she does that's physically impressive in this, she literally climbs a wall. And her life depends on it. So she climbs a wall. Of really pointy shards, which just means she has to endure some pain in addition to climbing the wall. And it, you know, like that's that's it. That's what she does. That's written. Like at one point she jumps across a chasm, but not like it's not like the the rock trying to jump jump from one. Uh, she's not jumping from one skyscraper to another. You just know there's a hole and she gets over it. Like it's not the most impressive thing in the world. But I just thought this was something we had to look at. It, it just boggled my mind. Again, not the greatest movie I've ever seen. I'm just saying that this is extraordinarily bizarre. Why is there something about Millie Bobby Brown they hate? They just hating on her? There's nothing to hate about the girl. I don't get it. I mean, maybe you don't like her acting or whatever, but 
It's just there's something off about this. I don't know what it is, but maybe you guys know better than I do. Maybe, again, maybe it's because she's not as girl boss as you can get. Um, I, I don't know. It, it was strange to me. But it, it, I don't know. The, t the tone was a little inconsistent. And I, like I said, it's probably a C plus. But it's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. And they're just like, this is terrible. So did you guys see this? Do you think that this was interesting? I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy talking about it because why all the hate? We don't need it. I mean, sometimes I hate on things. Trust me. I, you know that. But maybe you don't. In the meantime, you can also check out our podcast. It's great. It's a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy it. I promise you. It's on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday nights, we live stream it. Usually here on YouTube. We're also on Rumble at times. We do a lot of 10-second shorts. You'll love to check those out as well. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. But I'm on to the next one.